Hi, I know that lots of you are familiar with Willow and I because we're sharing this on Facebook. But if you're not, my name is Mary Keltner and this is my niece, Willow Keltner. Hello. And several months ago, Willow approached me asking if we could do a fundraiser for Peoria players for our birthdays. Well, both Willow's birthday and my birthday came and went and we weren't able to get that birthday fundraiser put together. However, Willow still really wanted to do something to give back to Peoria players during this year of the pandemic. So we were talking and thought, oh, how perfect. Halloween's coming up and Peoria Players is such a treat for so many people to be involved with in our community that that would be a great way to tie in giving back to Peoria Players. And unfortunately, Halloween came and went and we didn't get the fundraiser off the ground, but we'd still love to know, Willow, why do you think Peoria Players is such a treat to be involved with? Because I learned so much of Peoria Players. I've learned to expand my range, I've learned to dance, I've learned so many different types of dance. I've learned how to dance in a sense. And I've just learned so much I I can only list a few. <laughs> You're right. It is a treat to get to work with directors and choreographers and vocal directors because they have the ability to teach us so many things that we don't get that opportunity often in life. But like I said, Halloween came and went and we did not get this fundraiser off the ground. But then Willow and I talked a little bit and we've thought about Thanksgiving because we are both thankful for the opportunity that Peoria Players has provided not only for us, but for our family, our friends, and for the community as a whole. So we thought that would be a great way to tie in a fundraiser on Facebook for Peoria Players. I know personally, Willow, I'm very thankful for the people I've met at Players, from Sherry and Nikki and all of the box office staff to people behind stage and on stage, some of my closest friends come from Peoria Players. And I'm thankful for the opportunity to get to know those people and so many people in the community that I would never have met without being a part of Peoria Players Theater. But unfortunately, Thanksgiving came and Thanksgiving went. went and we did not get this fundraiser off the ground. But then we were talking about Christmas. And Christmas is really for the season of giving. And we think about gifts and giving gifts during Christmas. So Willow thought, oh, that would be a great way to tie in our fundraiser. Willow, can you think of the gift that Peoria Players has been for you? The gift that Peoria Players has given to me, just kind of like you said before, the gift of friendship, the gift of learning. I know I already said that, but it's just the gift of a place where I can be safe and be myself. You're right, Willow. Players is a community that provides the opportunity for so many of our youth just to be themselves. You're able to go and learn new skills and new activities and not have to worry about what others think because at Players, you're free to be yourself. But unfortunately, Christmas came and Christmas went, went and the fundraiser still didn't get off the ground. But then we thought New Year's because at Players, you have the opportunity to learn so many new things. I know, Willow. I've learned a lot of new things at Players. I learned about sewing while I've been with Peoria Players, and I also got the opportunity to co-direct my first adult musical while I've been involved at Peoria Players. And those were opportunities that I will never forget. And New Year's came, and New Year's went, went and we didn't get this fundraiser off the ground. But I think it's okay, because there was a holiday that just passed, and I think it really encompasses what Peoria Players is for our community. Peoria Players has been a part of the Peoria community for over a hundred years, and at its essence, it is the heart of our community. The heart of the community for those specifically involved on stage and backstage, but also for our patrons. And I think with Valentine's Day just passing, this is a great way to show how much we love Peoria Players. Willow, if you could think about one special memory or one special experience that really solidified the love that you have for Peoria Players, what would that be? It wouldn't be a time, it would be a show, Cinderella. Did, my father was backstage. You were with me on stage, and I, we, I just had so much of my family help in that musical, and um, I will never forget it. 
You're right, Willow. I love the fact that I've gotten to be on stage with you, and I love the fact that I've gotten to be backstage with you. And those are memories that we will cherish always. In fact, it was really wonderful that when Peoria Players had its 100th season, all of us got to be involved with a show together, Wizard of Oz, and we got to be on stage, work backstage, and then we worked on Raisin in the Sun together, and that was, again, just another wonderful experience full of memories that I love and I cherish, and I will always hold dear, just like Peoria Players is to my heart. So, Willow, I want to close with just, could you tell everyone why it was so important for you as a young person to want to give back to Peoria Players? Peoria Player has done so much for me and people before me, like my aunt, Mary here, and I just want to make sure people that come behind me and will come after me just have a place to see something that isn't on a phone screen or on a TV screen. I want them to have some real interaction with human beings on a real stage show. And, and didn't you say that you wanted the opportunity to give back to our community? Yes, Peoria Players has done so much for me and I'm just returning the favor. That's right. We're thankful for everything that Players has done for us, and we hope that you're willing to partner with us in this fundraiser and give back to Players. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.